God and Dad! Ah. People need to stop yelling my name randomly! It wasn't random though. I have another small game hunter prototype armor for you to try out. Another one? Another one. Oh man, I really need to stretch. Whoa, what the hell are these? Ha! I'm Thanos! Who's gonna stop me? Oh shit! What the hell are you gonna do? Hello, my fellow hunters, and welcome to the mod show. And what do you know? We have mods for you. Obviously, I, I, I don't really know what else you'd be expecting here. But are they? Well, good's the word. You'll see. But first and always, mods. Oh, oh my God, they vibrate oh. when he roars. Oh, it's so cool, though. Weird. It's just, it is just the fabric. The actual character model isn't moving. Yeah. I have three very important questions for you. What are they? Do you like monsters? Yeah, that's, like, one of the main things of this game. Do you like sexy things? I am a man. <laughs> Can you guess where the third question's going? What would I like to eat for lunch because you're paying for it? Too right! You sit down and have one on me, buddy! Hmm, I still paid for that. <laughs> yes, you did. So, question three: How do question you feel three. about sexy monsters? Not good, generally. Like Kezu. He's not a sexy monster. He can be though. No, he can't. Yeah, you see. No, that's not sexy, Josh. That's <laughs> weird. My life's mission to show you that picture as many times. I know. As it's possible. still it's still weird. It doesn't that doesn't make it better. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Did you ever wonder what Valhazak would look like with boobs? Because uh, Oh my god, they vibrate god. when he roars! Why is it his throat? Why? <laughs> they vibrate when he roars! I why are th why is it in his neck though? <laughs> oh my god, they just oh! Oh, Jesus this was, Christ! This was not thought through correctly! <laughs> what is happening? My eyes. Have you never thought to yourself what would Valhazak look like with boobs? Those are not boobs! I mean there there might be for a Valhazak. Those are two lumps that come out of his throat. These are this is just a female Valhazak for the first time ever. No, it's not. This is a discovery. We, we've, we as the researchers have discovered oh. something incredible here. Oh. <laughs> oh. We are the first hunters ever to encounter a female Valhazak. And we'll be the last ones too once it kills itself. <laughs> once it kills itself? They do just look like horrible mutated growths. Well, they're literally just spheres of like wood that they stuck the same material as his body. Like, he's, he's dying, but it's like little wooden spheres. <laughs> How dare you, alright? All Valhazaks are beautiful. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> but those are not breasts. Were you hoping for a more like other, other setup? No, I was hoping for the chest where those belong. Well, cow cow breasts are udders, and they're. Well, in the I would also accept that, but the throat is not an applicable location. So what you're saying is you would accept Valhazak yes, udders. Yes, I would accept Valhazak udders. Would you try Valhazak milk? No, it'd probably be effluvium. <laughs> okay, if it was purified of effluvium, would you drink Valhazak milk? Purified effluvium is air. <laughs> Tastes like no cow's milk. <laughs> I did not expect to have this conversation. No, right neither did I. <laughs> but he doesn't want it either. We're done here, apparently. We're done here. Stop looking <laughs> at me. I will take my breasts and leave. <laughs> now, I know this is something all of you have wanted for a very long time. Don't try and tell me it's not. Don't, don't try and don't try and deny it. Okay, you know deep down you have always needed this. You've always needed to see this. You've always wondered what this would look like. Well, wonder no longer because here I provide dreams. I make them come true. I stand up and say, I will show you the mods that answers the most important questions in world. 
What does a Valhazar quiv press look like? <laughs> ah. Oh god, I'm 25 years old. Zora Magdaros. It is Zora Magdaros. That's just Zora Magdaros. No, it's not just Zora Magdaros. It's Zora Magdaros with shoulder plates. <laughs> it's not shoulder plates. Look, right? This is Zora Boopteros. No, it's it's not. It's not. They don't even. There's no like. They're on his shoulders. Look at Maybe them. that's where they are for a Zora Magdaros. This is this is shoulder plate Zora Magdaros. He's got shoulder plates. His shoulder He's plates got big, are... literal big rocks on his shoulders, and they go behind his head when he pushes arms forward. So they're actually <laughs> on his back. They look like concrete. Yeah, they do. They're giant fucking rocks. <laughs> ah! Oh, I just tried to attack one and failed. It's times like these I wonder if I took the right path in life. So how impressed are you? With oh! Okay. Okay. Oh, you okay. know. How impressed are you at Zora Boopteros? About half a percent. You're on fire, though. <laughs> I am on fire. That's more impressive to me. <laughs> oh, thank you. You, oh. you put me out. Mm. Look at it. That's Look at it. It's giant and spherical and there. Look at those giant spherical things that are attached to his shell for some reason. <laughs> so when he moves, they don't. It's sort of like he just sort of has a shell extension. He got shell. Shut up. <laughs> Extensions, it's like hair extensions, but for Azora Magdaros. I feel like you don't appreciate the majesty of. Ah! Are you okay? No, I appreciated that. <laughs> Fuck you, man! Look, alright, this is nature's beauty. We have discovered the first female Zora Magdaros. No, we've discovered the first shoulder plate Zora Magdaros. <laughs> not even shoulders, it's attached to his shell. It's not. It's... They aren't uh, even, like... <sighs> God damn it! Why do we keep standing here? I know. I know. The, the next logical conclusion to take this, the ultimate conclusion, is uh, asking the same question, but with Zora Magdaros. I mean, doesn't it just do things to you? Isn't the majesty of nature take your breath away? Doesn't it make you wonder... Why Dav PPD has as much free time as he does. It does. It makes you wonder. It does make you wonder. But at the same time, where would we be without him? Happier, probably. But curious still. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Let's move on! Ilya, I have a proposal. I've had quite enough of your proposals, blacksmith man. I'm thinking of having a half-off sale, really get some more eyes on the store. I was hoping maybe you would do some voiceover work for an advertisement for me? It wouldn't be anything crazy. I feel like you're just gonna trick me again. Oh, come on. Fine. <laughs> I'm still stood right here. What's... What's so funny? Nothing. Hello there, this is the Sapphire Star, and I'm here to tell you about some fantastic deals here at the Astera Blacksmith. You know your lovely Damascus plate, get that focus in the morning. Well, that's right, it's half off. It, it's half, half off. Kulf Taroth, the golden goddess's gown of glory. Well, it's half off too in these crazy, crazy revealing prices. Blossom is half off as well. Yep, yeah, that's, that's the, uh, that's the one. Gala suit for all your fancy knee and there, yeah, there it goes. Yep, yeah, there it. There it goes. Blacksmith! Wait, wait, this isn't what it looks like! I'm going to tell the commander. And so it was literally half off. Hmm, half off, you say? Oh my god, that's not the point! So I do like this trend of taking armor and just removing most of it. It's very quintessentially modding, isn't it, at that point? But I just feel like at a certain point, you kind of lose the initial scope of the... I mean, look at this Valhazar armor. 
I wonder what I'd look like in that. That's hot. All right, I want to make a bet with you. With me? No, no, you, no, you're not. Don't you don't listen to any of this. All right, I'll just go back to my math. Mm, Yes, that's an (laughs) island. Looks icy. (laughs) So, so. Sh- uh, shut up, Commander, with all okay, respect, I'm, I'm sorry, you, you don't tell me what to do, I'm the Commander, I'll shut up then. <laughs> I bet you I can get the Commander to say Dragonator before you can, and whoever loses has to do anything the other person says. Can I say no? No. Commander, say Dragonator. Dragonator! But you- you got- got- <laughs> 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 A few moments later. You are a sick individual that this is what you want, but I respect all all bets offered, that I made. You literally told me that you knew what I so, wanted. I didn't yeah, no, because you told me this before, right? You told me a while ago if you ever want a bet where I could do anything, this is what you'd want from me. That's a very specific thing to say. Yeah, but you know, no you context. said it. So this is, this is... For sure. You know, this is embarrassing, but you know, I honor, yeah. I honor my bets. Uh, how, uh-huh. how may I serve you, master? No! God, please, no! 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 So yeah, for those of you that have been sat there going, you know, I like Monster Hunter, but it, it doesn't quite work for me because I can't be a maid while hunting monsters. Well, when we Chen's got you covered. Hey, look, I'll admit there is definitely a certain theme to today's episode, but God, there, there has been a cascade of mods recently, but I kid you not, 80% of them are just along these lines. <laughs> it just, there's just so many. <laughs> oh, but I will admit we have something very special coming up soon. But either way, enjoy this. The power of this fabric is immense. It, it's just, it is just the fabric. The actual character model isn't moving. Yeah. It's yeah. just the fabric. Got- <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's just the fabric. Yeah, you've got bouncy fabric. What is this made out of? Hey, Rubber? made out of. <laughs> isn't that hilarious, Palumu? <laughs> Seems Palumu's practicing his opera. What? You heard? <laughs> No, the show is ruined! <laughs> oh no! Oh god! <laughs> Alright, let's find Legiana. Look at you cleaning up those gashes. Oh, I found Legiana. Oh, Jesus! Yes, look at this! Why'd someone take a picture of space and overlay it on Legiana? <laughs> <laughs> this is Astral Legiana! <laughs> I mean, that's cool, but it makes no sense! It's so cool, though! <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> it's so pretty! Um, I wish it was moving. I feel like if this creature actually existed, it would somehow be like the little Oh specs yeah, like like the stars are just drifting across yeah. her. Because the, the whole point of this would be something that flies so high, like above the clouds, that it would literally have space above it. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. That's how this, this like, deviant happened. Allegiana flew really high and came back down with space and on her. And just got colored space. That just makes no fucking sense. Because that's how the Earth works. It's flat, and when you get high enough, you get space imprinted on you. <laughs> I knew it. What do you say now, science? Space isn't a real thing, it's just a ceiling three miles in the air that has stars painted onto it, so if you touch it, the paint comes off onto you. <laughs> the little researcher man just sat there like... <gasps> like, the whole pattern thing is to camouflage a bit, so if it was just, this one flies significantly higher, so that's where she needs to camouflage, that would make sense. She needs to camouflage against the vacuum of space. Well, it's... It, once From you're what? above the clouds... I don't know, fucking Valstrax. <laughs> Her eyes are purple and delicious. Delicious? Pretty. Delicious? Do you eat eyes? I have been known to... To, 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 to not To not dabble in the eyes. ball of the eye. <laughs> to dabble in eye jelly. There's nothing quite like eye jelly. I've been known to dabble in eyes. Oh god! Oh, oh god! <laughs> I just remembered breast mouth! Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Exhausted. <laughs> Why would you make me fight in a oh, god, in a maid outfit? This then is just fabulous. It is Astral Beast Legiana by Splat Tim, and what a lovely mod it is. It makes a very, 
very pretty sight indeed. Imagine a cosmic Legiana. Imagine the patterns glowing, swirling on the skin, much like the pulsing of a Malfestio's wings. Imagine giving it some swirling, sparkling black ice. Imagine giving it... I honestly could see a confuse effect coming in here, you know, like from space. Whoa, it's confusing. It's so big. How do you imagine something that big? Oh, <laughs> okay, look, maybe they justify a little bit better than that, but you know what I'm saying. This has got the makings, the material, the foundation of a really cool, maybe not a subspecies, but definitely deviant. The Legiana that flew ever so very too high. Oh, it looks oh. amazing! Her flying yeah, overhead! Okay. Wow! Oh, God. Somebody essentially just, like, wanted to, like, put Gormagala's color scheme in world, and it's like, what's the best excuse for this? Oh, that is very, very, very palatable. Oh, God, Palumu really was sad about that. <laughs> so sissy. <laughs> oh! Look at that. Tissy, the ultimate predator. The ultimate predator. Arrives, came in, flashes, flashes like on him left. Yeah, it's just full dominance assertion. Like, imagine us showing up to a party, dropping a flashbang, and then leaving. People would think you were absolutely amazing. You could have gone other ways with well, that. What ways would you have gone with? Oh my god! <laughs> Balloon was left alone. What? Basil Geese! Basil Geese! <laughs> what the fuck? Basil, <laughs> what the fuck? The second there was a slot, he just fucking flew from fucking Rotten Vale just all the way up, just straight <laughs> over. No stops on this train. Gotta get in that leggy out of fight. Basil! Look, I know you wanted to see the new Legiana, and it's pretty cool, but good god, man! He's awesome! Alright, everyone, that'll do for today. Make of it what you will, but, you know, hopefully fun was had. Like, if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. I'll see you soon. A uh, god boy. Rage gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo, but I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kind of relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song and don't worry I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.